Choosing a 3D printer in 2026 is harder than ever. There are hundreds of models, tons of marketing, and way too many best printer claims. So today we're cutting through all that noise and ranking the top 10 3D printers of 2026 based on design, reliability, and real performance, not hype. Let's get started. At number 10, we have the Elegoo Centauri Carbon a printer that proves budget no longer means basic. It sits right around the $300 mark, but what you get feels far above its price class. The Centauri Carbon runs on a Core XY motion system, the same style used by much more expensive models. That design keeps movement tight and precise, allowing clean edges and detailed layers even at higher speeds. The Carbon version comes with an enclosed chamber, which helps stabilize temperatures during long prints and reduces warping, especially useful if you plan to use materials beyond standard PLA. Setup is refreshingly simple, a guided calibration process, quiet operation, and a lightweight print head that keeps vibrations low. There's no overcomplicated software lock-in here either. It works seamlessly with popular slicers like Orca or Cura, giving you the freedom to tune settings your way. At this price, the Centauri Carbon stands out because it actually feels finished. Smooth extrusion, reliable bed adhesion, and minimal tuning needed. Things that used to cost twice as much just a few years ago. And if you don't need the enclosure, Elegoo offers a cheaper open frame version called simply the Centauri, which shares the same motion system and components. Coming in at number 9 is the Bamboo Lab 01, a printer that brings premium polish into the entry-level price range. It's small, fast, quiet, and feels engineered with the same DNA as Bamboo's flagship models, but stripped down to the essentials that matter most. The A1 focuses on ease of use and consistency. From the moment it starts printing, layer lines are tight, walls look smooth, and supports remove cleanly even on detailed miniatures or functional prototypes. Its motion system is fast but controlled, and the noise levels are shockingly low for a machine that prints this quickly. Where the A1 really shines is an upgrade potential. It supports Bamboo's AMS light system for multicolor printing, giving creators access to the same seamless filament switching as the higher-end models, so you can start simple with one material and later expand into multi-material or color color blended prints without changing your printer. You also get a smart, compact design that fits almost anywhere. A perfect desktop companion for designers or students. Maintenance is minimal, the print bed self-levels accurately, and filament detection keeps jobs from failing midway. Everything feels designed to eliminate frustration. At around $339, the A1 sits in a sweet spot where reliability meets creativity. At number 8, we're scaling up. Literally, the Creality Ender 5 Max is built for people who think small print beds are a limitation, not a standard. With a massive 400 by 400 by 400 millimeter build volume, it lets you print helmets, cosplay props, and large prototypes in one piece instead of slicing them apart. This model refines what Creality's older Ender series never fully mastered. Stability and control at scale, the reinforced cube frame and dual Z axis keep the bed level even during tall prints, while the new firmware smooths acceleration and reduces the banding that older Ender struggled with. Despite its size, setup remains surprisingly approachable. The touchscreen UI is clean, auto-leveling works consistently, and once you've dialed in your temperatures, it runs quietly and predictably. No fancy gimmicks, just a big, dependable workhorse. Now, it's not a speed monster. Moving a heated bed, this large limits acceleration, so the trick is to let it print at moderate speeds for the best results. But the trade-off is worth it. Dimensionally accurate, strong parts with minimal vibration artifacts. For around $799, it's one of the most affordable ways to get true large format Core XY style output without jumping to industrial machines. 
At number 7, the Creality K1 Max shows just how far Creality has come from its budget roots. This isn't the slow tinkerer's printer most people remember. It's a fast, fully enclosed Core XY machine built for reliability and speed in equal measure. The K1 Max delivers a 300 by 300 by 300 millimeter build area inside a rigid aluminum enclosure. That design traps heat for better layer adhesion, especially when printing tougher materials like ABS or ASA. The print head runs at high accelerations, guided by a smart motion algorithm that keeps corners sharp and surfaces clean. And with a built-in camera and Wi-Fi control, you can monitor jobs remotely in real time. Early versions of the K1 Max had mixed reviews, but Creality quietly updated the hardware and firmware improved extruder gears, better cooling, and a sturdier bed design. Those refinements turned it into a genuinely dependable machine that can handle long, multi-hour prints without hiccups. Noise levels are low for a printer this fast, and setup is nearly plug and play. Automatic bed leveling, intuitive touchscreen, and filament detection all come standard. At around $800, the K1 Max feels like a flagship experience at a mid-range price. It's the ideal choice for anyone who wants high-speed Core XY performance, professional features, and enclosed stability without paying the four-figure premium of more exclusive brands. Sliding into number 6, the Prusa MK4 kit continues the reputation that made Prusa a gold standard in desktop 3D printing. It's not flashy, and it doesn't need to be. What sets it apart is precision, reliability, and a design philosophy that prioritizes real engineering over marketing gimmicks. The MK4 comes as a build-it-yourself kit, which might sound intimidating, but the guided assembly process is one of the best in the industry. Every step is documented with visual instructions and built-in self-checks, so you end up learning how every part of your printer works while putting it together. And once it's done, you've got a machine that's calibrated to near perfection. The result is prints that come out clean, dimensionally accurate, and repeatable, whether it's PLA, PETG, or tougher engineering filaments. The extruder system is smooth and consistent, the bed leveling is automatic, and the new 32-bit control board ensures whisper-quiet motion and faster processing of G-code. Another big advantage is open source freedom. Unlike many lockdown systems, the MK4 integrates effortlessly with multiple slicers, firmware tweaks, and third-party upgrades. You can grow with it instead of replacing it every two years. At around $729, the Prusa MK4 kit offers that rare mix of craftsmanship and flexibility. Halfway through the list, we reach the printers that define 2025's sweet spot between performance and price, the Bamboo Lab P1 series. Both the P1P and P1S share the same mechanical core as Bamboo's flagship, but at nearly half the cost. They're fast, quiet, and beautifully refined, offering pro-level print quality without the complexity or the premium price tag. The P1P is the open frame version, ideal for PLA in everyday materials. Materials. The P1S adds a clean, enclosed body, giving you better control over temperature and letting you print tougher filaments like ABS or PETG with fewer warps. Both use the same Core XY motion platform that gives Bamboo its signature speed. Prints finish hours faster than on traditional bed slingers, and layer lines stay crisp even at aggressive settings. What makes the P1 series stand out is consistency. Every print feels predictable. No endless tweaking, no calibration loops. You load your file, press start, and it simply delivers. The automatic bed leveling, vibration compensation, and filament detection all work together so that even large, detailed prints come out clean. At around $400 to $500, this lineup is where value and capability meet. At number 4, we move into the large format, semi-professional range, and the Creality K2 Plus is the highlight here. It takes everything Creality learned from the K1 Max and scales it up. A 350 by 350 by 350 millimeter Core XY system with full enclosure, rigid motion structure, and quiet, stable operation. This machine is for users who outgrew the hobby tier and now want serious production volume without paying industrial grade prices. The K2 Plus 
Plus brings speed and consistency to big prints. Its motion controller optimizes acceleration curves, keeping tall models stable while still pushing impressive print speeds. The enclosed design means you can comfortably run ABS, ASA, or carbon reinforced filaments, materials that need steady ambient temperature to avoid warping. Usability has improved too. Auto leveling is fast and accurate, the touchscreen interface is responsive, and network control lets you queue jobs remotely. Maintenance is minimal, the direct drive extruder handles flexible filaments, and the magnetic PEI plate makes part removal effortless. Some users mention minor quirks with the optional multicolor CFS system, but as a single extruder machine, the K2 Plus performs brilliantly. Clean edges, strong layer adhesion, and predictable results on large prints. At roughly $1,299, it's the bridge between hobby and pro. Large enough for props and prototypes, smart enough for small batch production. Cracking into the top three, the Prusa Core 1 represents the next evolution of Prusa's engineering philosophy. A printer built for professionals who value precision, speed, and openness all at once. It's Prusa's first Core XY architecture, combining high-speed performance with the legendary reliability that made the brand famous in the first place. The Core 1 runs on a fully enclosed, rigid frame with a smart motion system that keeps every axis perfectly synchronized. That means smoother walls, tighter tolerances, and faster turnaround times, without the vibration or wobble you sometimes see in bedslinger designs. Prints that once took half a day now finish in hours, yet the layer alignment remains razor sharp. It comes in two versions, a kit and a pre-assembled model. The kit appeals to makers who love understanding their machines. The assembled version is for studios that just want to plug in and start producing right away. Both versions share the same DNA, a precision machined frame, auto calibration, and the open source firmware Prusa is known for. The Core 1 also shines in material versatility, from basic PLA to PETG, ASA, and even composite blends, it handles it all with controlled chamber temperatures and a refined extrusion path. It's quiet, efficient, and connects easily to popular slicers without vendor lock-in. At around $949 for the kit, or $1,200 assembled, the Prusa Core 1 challenges high-end competitors like Bamboo's X1 series. At number two, we reached the machine that redefined expectations for speed and quality, the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. This printer isn't just fast, it's engineered to feel effortless. From motion control to AI-assisted monitoring, the X1 Carbon takes desktop 3D printing into professional territory without losing accessibility. It's built on a rock-solid Core XY system with precision linear rails and carbon-reinforced components that keep vibration nearly non-existent. That's why it's Surfaces come out smooth even when printing at speeds that used to cause chaos on other printers. Every motion feels coordinated, every corner sharp, and every overhang surprisingly clean. The fully enclosed body maintains consistent temperatures for advanced materials like ABS, ASA, and nylon, while the multi-zone heating bed ensures perfect adhesion across the entire print area. Add in automatic calibration, LiDAR-based first layer inspection, and a high-speed cooling system, and you have prints that look injection molded right off the bed. One standout advantage is the AMS system, which allows effortless multicolor or multi-material printing. No tedious spool swaps. Just load, assign, and print. And with network connectivity, onboard camera, and real-time diagnostics, the workflow feels modern and seamless. At around $999, the X1 Carbon sits just below industrial class machines in performance, but far below them in cost. And finally, at number one, the Bamboo Lab H2D. The newest flagship from Bamboo takes everything the X1 Carbon did right and scales it up. Bigger, smarter, and even more refined. It's not just an upgrade, it's a statement about where high-end desktop 3D printing is heading. The H2D features a dual nozzle system that allows automatic tool switching between materials or colors without the waste typical of filament purge systems. It's a more efficient, cleaner way to approach multi-material printing, and the results are incredibly sharp. The machine's build volume, roughly three 
320 by 320 by 325 millimeters gives you the flexibility to print larger parts or multiple smaller ones in a single run, all while maintaining Bamboo's trademark Core XY precision. Inside that sleek illuminated enclosure, everything feels purpose-built. Active chamber heating for consistent temperature control, high flow cooling for crisp details, and a reinforced motion assembly for long-term accuracy. Even at high speeds, the H2D produces layer alignment that looks closer to molded plastic than to fused filament. Although Bamboo includes optional laser engraving and vinyl cutting modules, the real power of this machine lies in its printing performance. It's fast, reliable, and visually stunning in operation. The kind of tool you can leave running for complex jobs without constant supervision. At about $2,000, the H2D sits firmly in the professional category, yet it's still plug and play enough for advanced hobbyists.